in the previous video we have seen that where clause can accommodate with and operator and or operator with the certain range price below than 50000 and beyond 40000 and we can use the same we can solve the same query with in operator or between operator we will discuss in operator in this video and between and in operator in this video so what what we are doing trying to do we are like we are going to write between 50000 or i would say 40000 first and 50,000. So I'm going to execute this query. You can see it, it's not changing over here, but it's having the the particular range like in between 45,000 and 15,000. You can execute. Only two laptop are display on the screen. Those are having values, price cost in between 45,000 and 50,000. So you can see these these are two rows, two laptops. Those are having price. Similarly, if you can check, check for other range, like suppose I am checking for ratings. So ratings in between 4.5 and 5.0. Let's see. So 5.0. So let's execute. You can see these ratings in between 4.5 and 5, only two residue. Let's show one and another results. 4.1 and 5 so 4.1 and 5 is having different range and different values all right so here you can see that between can work with integer of float values those are having discrete values only they are not predicting or they are not finding the values for where character or those are having different string values Let's say if you want to check for model ID, so model ID in between this and this, it, it will give an, an error. Similarly, you can perform the ID itself that you want to uh, show the particular laptop range on the given ID range. You can do the same. Okay, so instead of for the character value, you can use the in function. So we are having model underscore ID as a character name. The display name model id in then i i'll give i'll have to give some range value all right so like suppose i just copy this and paste all right so you can copy this any random values i'm copying from my model id column and giving in the in parameter right so it's asking for the codes because it's character value so it's asking for the codes all right so i am going to execute and then you can see it's successfully run so it's a mandatory then you are going to uh, define the codes around the values in case of integer and float it's not required mandatory but in case of character and, and a string value or where character value where character uh, column name you will have to provide the call codes around the values so they, these two rows are having only the current model id okay so suppose in function is also valid for for, means for integer and float value let's i am having 4.3 here 4.1 and let's say 4.3 let's say 3.5 so it's i'm going to execute and you can see converting data type into when character to this one it's okay so i have given the wrong column names so it's it should be ratings over here right and then execute so you can see only the ratings those are having value 3.5 or 4.3 or 4.1 are displayed on the screen so they are not in the increasing order nor in the decreasing order though in the respective manner they are showing on the screen 
but we are having only 18 rows we are not having all the 35 rows uh, from the existing table but we are having the respective integer name integer column okay so let's try for other values like let's, let's say id so i'm taking id as parameter now and in using in function i am using like let's say i am providing this 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 function this operator is useful when you are having more than larger value and more than a respective value all right so i'm going to execute this you can see two rows are displayed because id is unique and each id is having respective values you can see this is the the status of my result so this is how you can perform the in in and between operator along with the where clause